Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I want you to keep uh, yani your eyes one minute for this picture today, please. Those people, the six people who were the red circles around them, they were killed two days ago in Egypt on their way back from visiting the monastery. And the six people are from the same family. Okay? I want you please to give it a moment of silence and think about this and are we related to this or not? It is very essential if you don't get that we are one family and what they went through we might or we are going through it in a different way we'll be living in islands not in one body so one minute of silence please look at the pictures they are no longer with us they are before the throne of God and imagine if this happened to your family death is not far death is not far if we think we are safe I think we are mistaken many things I'll give you one minute of silence please look at the picture and whatever God will say in your heart just pray for them They are part of your family as the church is the body of Christ the real meaning of the church again and again and again it is not a building it is a living body living stones we are related to one another because we belong to Christ I want to shed the light on this again that the church is not about me or Long Island Church or the Coptic Church even the church is bigger than this the church is the body of Christ and the Christ is the head of the church and every member of the church cannot communicate in a healthy way with one another without connecting to the head Christ the secret behind our broken relations is that we do everything without the head, Christ. This is personally, on a family, on a community, or even in a church. Those people were killed because they are Christian. They were checked and they said, are you Christian? Yes, shoot you down. I wonder if this happened today And people attack the church and they ask you, are you Christian or not? How many will say yes and how many will deny? How many will say, I don't know him, like St. Peter? And how many will say, now I have to witness? It's a hard question, I know. But by the way, if you don't answer the hard questions, you will never even answer the easy one.
you can't answer those hard questions, like why you are living, what is the church, why you are here, those questions are very, very, very vital. If we skip them, we're going to act without an impact. If we don't know the meaning of being Christian, what Christ did, if we, if we ignore this and we convert the church to a social club, nothing will change in us. Shankeda, when I was preparing this yesterday, I had two more, three more pictures before you. The first one, before I put it, this is the second, this is the first one. Pray for the families. By the way, if you really love your, love your people, if you love anyone, the place where you will show your love to him is when you pray for him. If you don't carry him in your heart, if you don't pray for him, that means you don't love him. Period. Because the best thing to do is to put whom you love and whom even hate you before the presence of God. Today when I said to you, I'm, I'm, please keep quiet in the church, I'm asking you a question. If in the church, in the presence of God, and we chat and we are distracted, do you want to convince me that you do pray at your home? I don't think so. I don't think so. You do the same at home. I do the same at home. I am not focusing. And God is sending to me and to you different ways, different messages, directly and indirectly. By the way, this is the second incident in one year. Incident. The second, in the same place. Last year, 29 died, and today and yesterday before, eight people died. Shankeda, I'm going to lead you to the second picture, please. Can we, make, can we make it bigger a bit? What you can see in this picture, can you see it clearly? What do you see? A wolf and what? Sheep goat. Christ told them, I have sent you like sheep among what? Wolves. But he said also in Matthew 7, watch out. There are some people in the shape of sheep, but they are wolves. We are having a problem. A big problem. The first people, you know what the Bible, what the history said? Those who came like wolves to eat, to eat the lamp of God, the sheep, the sheep, they turned into Christianity. We have tons of saints in the church because they ate the lambs, they ate those pure people, they became sheep. They know God. One of the names, Arianos. Arianos was a huge governor in Upper Egypt. And he killed almost 25,000 Christians. And at the end, he became a Christian, a saint. God is able to change the wolves into sheep. The problem is this one. The problem is this one. Who is in the shape of a sheep, but he is a wolf. What is the what is the what the wolf is doing? You know what? Three things. The wolf is watching, 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 and the wolf always pick the good, pick the good, the, the fat one. He always does so, and the wolf is very patient. He can follow, he can follow, he can give an eye, a look, and at the end, I'm going to hunt you, you will be hunted. Do you think we are, we are not persecuted in, in America? No, we are persecuted. From ourselves, 
we persecute ourselves when we keep the wolf and the lamp at the same what place even in the church even in the church when you come to church and you have different agenda you have another agenda you have another plan of coming to church here you go the wolf will appear and I can see this when things get maybe a bit tougher in a group of people whenever things get a bit hard the lamp is aside and the wolf is rising verbally very very bad words very harsh words very inappropriate words in the church yes wrong behaviors in the church yes if you want to feel you want to change we have to face it we have to face it if you keep the wolf and the lamb they cannot live together don't keep the wolf and the lamb together by the way don't keep them you have to make a decision today because death is not far death is not far give me any guarantee that you will live up to 11 15 you can guarantee it you can do it because the next moment is not yours third picture the serpent the serpent the same serpent who came to Adam and Eve is coming to me and to you and I think we have a very common common way we say it we say it, you know it is not wrong but it's not also what right I'm wondering, with these waves of the serpent being logic, don't be an extremer. Listen to this question, please. Do you think that a day will come and the word sin will not be even mentioned? Do you think that one day will come and we remove the word it is wrong from our dictionary I think the way the way humanity is going we are reaching this very fast in America we are the top of technology but how is ethics and morals we are going down where down the hill and don't look out please look at your family and yourself please before you judge other, judge whom? Yourself. How many times the devil come, the serpent, come with discouragement, come with delay, come with, ah, oh, be logical. And we do what? We do fall. Watch out. Don't make the things which are wrong looks what? Looks what? Please. Personally, watch your words. Watch what you say. God will judge every word you say. Every word. Watch out, please. The serpent is working. But I will end up with a very good note. The note of hope. The last one. This is the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah, who is with us. Today, this song, I, one of my favorite songs, the dead bones come what? Alive. Today, the gospel was the son of Nain, who was dead, and Christ what? 
raised him. We are belonging to the lamp of God. We belong to the line of Judah. We belong to the Savior. We are redeemed. Forgiveness is ours. Salvation is ours. Heaven is ours. Don't let anyone to take your place. Come alive. You have life. Come alive. Come from your tomb. Come from your grave. Your grave. Come up. He is calling you. This song is from Ezekiel chapter 16. Amazing. And I want to remind you, if you attend the church and you, your ears and your eyes are alerting, the first prophet of the week of passion, on Sapalm Sunday, the first prophet is this prophet, Ezekiel 16. Sorry, Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. The first prophet. What is the message? I will bring what? Life back again. May God give us life today again. For those who partake the communion willingly, for those who partake communion today, your responsibility is high. Your responsibility is very high. You took the life giving body. Again, you took what? The life giving body. The true body and the true blood who eats my body and drinks my blood shall never die. You will not die. But if you have this promise and you act differently, I think I'm a liar. If I have the promise and I live this life again, there's something wrong here. I have to repent. And come back, come back to my senses. We saw today four pictures. First one, part of your family went through death because they love God. If the same happened with you, what you will do honestly. Secondly, don't be a wolf in the shape of Please put things in order. I feel, my beloved, the problem of someone who tasted Christ and want to go back, he will not please the devil or God. Make up your mind. Are you a wolf or a lamb? And that's it. Third one was the serpent who's deceiving, throwing. Wrong information. Oh my God. Some people, I went to somebody said, Where is this in the Bible? You are deceived, Habib. Please wake up. Read your Bible. Read and come to someone who can help you, please. And the fourth one, we belong to the Lamp of God. We are saved. We are victorious in Christ. But keep Keep your hand in, with hand is with his hand till the last moment. I want to leave this picture again before you, and we can stand and pray for them, please. Let us stand. 